three. Goodbye. <laughs> this lady better get slapped. How do I get my money out? Ma'am. Ma'am. I didn't take my account. I mean, my card out. What is you saying goodbye for? Hello, now give me my money. And welcome to your Shut up. ATM What's going on, guys? It's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing TikTok Made Me Buy It Part 2. I did TikTok Made Me Buy It Beauty Edition. Today I'm doing TikTok Made Me Buy It Amazon Edition. So there is this running hashtag on TikTok and it's just called Amazon Finds. So basically people show their best finds on Amazon and they put it on TikTok. So I got sucked into the world of that hashtag and there was just so much cool stuff that I needed. So I went over to Amazon and I ordered some of it. And today we are going to be reviewing everything I ordered. Let's open the first box. Oh, I know what this is. First things first. We have this multicolor LED light. But the cool thing about these, these are supposed to be waterproof. So basically you're supposed to be able to put these like in the shower, in your bathroom, stuff like that. And I had to try it out. I thought these were so cool and if they actually work, and that's just dope. They come with a remote. Yeah, this is super cool. Let's see if they work. All right, so we're in the bathroom now and I have my lights here that are supposed to be waterproof. Let's rip these bad boys open and see how good they are. Let's read the directions really quick. Remotely turn off lighting, boost the lids, cut battery power. What? I literally don't think you do anything. I think you just hit the on button on the remote. This thing says you turn it to the right, but they're not turning on, like I'm clicking it. Am I doing something wrong? Let's read the instructions for real this time. Twist tight to active the power. Not activate, active. The lighting will turn on at once. Okay, maybe I'm not twisting it tight enough. Maybe that's my problem. <gasps> it turned on! Okay, let's try this one. Oh. <gasps> Y'all saw that? <gasps> cool. I'm gonna go ahead and twist all of these and I'll be back. All right, so you do have to twist pretty tight, but it is working. Last one, ladies and gentlemen. Twist, oh, that one was easy. Look at these cool waterproof lights. This is something really cool you can do with them. You can put them in like a glass flower thing. Oh, when you turn the light off, that is so cool. You can change the color also. So this is red, orange, orange again, yellow, blue, another blue. Wow, it's got a lot of colors. This is so cool. I think you guys can see how impressed I am with these little lights. They're so cool. I think they will look so awesome if you're taking a bath and you don't want the lights on or if you're just taking a shower and you want a little extra coolness in your shower. I have no idea, but these are pretty cool. Oh, maybe you can put them in like a swimming pool if you got like a bunch of them. I don't know. I'm just thinking of stuff now, but let's see if they're waterproof though. So I'm going to just run it underwater. <laughs> All around. Hmm. All right. Seems pretty waterproof to me. These lights are pretty cool. I'm gonna have to give this a five out of five stars. Not only are they pretty cool lights on their own, they're also waterproof. We tested it out right here today, and there's so many things that you can do with it. So five out of five stars for me. Let's open this big box right here and see what we ordered. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. First thing we have is this rocket book. So I don't know if you guys have seen this on TikTok, but it's basically a notebook that is reusable. Which I think, if this is actually, you know, cool, and it actually works like they say it does, we could be such a better planet. It's the Endlessly Reusable Intelligent Notebook. And what you're supposed to be able to do is write on it and then save it to your phone. And then it's supposed to be able to erase, which I'm really curious about this, you guys. 
I can't wait to try it out. I am going to be extremely impressed if this thing really works. Let's crack her open and see what we're looking at. This is the one I got. I got the smaller version. Let's see. Wow, the paper doesn't even feel like paper. Whoa, this is so weird. I wish you guys can feel this. It's a weird texture. It's pretty thick. You have to use their pen, I'm pretty sure. You can't use like a different kind of pen. This is a... This seems like a normal pen. I'm sure you can buy this pen separately if you wanted different colors or something. Let's go ahead and test it out, you guys. It does kind of feel a little weird because I'm not writing on paper. Ah! Oh. You saw that? Oh no. It smears so easily. I don't know about that. You can erase it though. Let's erase this and see if we can tell that we wrote something on there. Because my question is, once you get to using this a lot, will it be like trash by the time you, you know, is it one time use? You can kind of see the residue of my name. I write pretty hard. It feels a little weird, honestly, but let's go ahead and try to save it and see how that works. Okay, you guys, so I just picked this bag back up and I realized it came with this. So you can erase with moisture, I guess. That's what it says. You can wet this up and the whole thing should just like erase. I'm curious about that. We'll try that after we save this to our phone. All right, so you have to download the Rocket Book app to be able to save it to, you know, your Google Doc or your Dropbox or whatever. So let's go ahead and, and figure this out. All right, you guys. So I got the app. It made me set up an account with my email. So if I press new scan, this screen pops up on my phone and I just have to select scan mode Rocket Book. And then I place it in front and it's supposed to scan the whole paper. Let's see if it does it. All right, let's see. Well, there it is. There's my note. It copied the whole thing. I guess that's kind of cool. So it saved my whole entire, whatever I wrote on the page is right here. That's kind of cool. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and rate the Rocket Book. So it's pretty interesting. I like that it is a very slim design, seeing that it really doesn't need that many papers because you can save them to your phone and, and then just erase them with moisture or the back of this pencil. It's pretty cool, it's pretty interesting. I like the idea, it's super creative. One problem I'm having is the way the pen writes on the paper. It's just weird, I'm just not used to it. Maybe if I got used to it, you know, got used to writing on it, it wouldn't be so weird. Also, it smudges easy and the pen, it doesn't write everywhere. Like if I write, there's like so many like spaces in that and that would just irk me. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to have to give it a 4 out of 5 stars just because it feels a little weird writing. It smudges really, really easy and when I'm writing, like it just, the pen just stops connecting to the paper. I really don't know. The next product. So I have this face mask. Oh, it came with a little thingy. It's a Moroccan red clay mud mask with British rose. Hmm. It's a nice jar. So it comes with this little thingy, but we won't need this. You'll see why in a second. And then this opens. Oh, that's pretty cool. But does it really work? Here is a facial mask kit so basically it comes with some mask applicators and these are the ones like with no bristles like an actual brush because it's supposed to be a lot more sanitary if you just kind of use this and put it on your face it comes with this i guess you can use this to put on your face or to stir it has this little bowl oh my gosh this bowl is so cute so it comes with a little bowl because a lot of face masks they come as powders and you have to like add water in it and maybe like apple cider vinegar or something and then you can also make your own homemade face mask. So I thought this was such a cute kit that I had to have. And I really mainly got it for these. But this is going to come in handy for that Aztec clay mask. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Period. 
All right, we are in the bathroom now for our next product. This is the Moroccan Red Clay Mud Mask, and then we have these. We're gonna we're gonna test these out together. First things first, I absolutely love the packaging. Like even after you've used all the masks, you have this awesome jar. Honestly, guys, this reminds me of the fish from the Dr. Seuss movie. What is it? Cat in the Hat. This reminds me of what the fish was in for some of that movie. <laughs> Okay, we get our applicators. I'm gonna wash them off really quick. Yes, I'm sitting on my counter, you guys. But let's go ahead and get into it. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. This applicator is such a lifesaver. It's so much more sanitary than using your hands if you keep it clean. And it's a lot more sanitary than using a bristle brush as well. I'm actually not even mad. This is so nice. And the mask itself, it's awesome. It feels so good. So how long do I leave this on? I'm going to go ahead and leave this mask on for 10 to 15 minutes. And I'll wash it off. And let you guys know my rating for it as far as the applicator brush set that is a five out of five for me i knew it was gonna work it's actually such a useful tool and it cleans super easily so i'm so excited about these because i love doing face masks and every time i do a face mask with a normal brush it gets stuck to the brush and that is absolutely so annoying like the mask itself clings to the to the bristles of the brush and then it's all stuck together and super hard um, so five out of five for this for me. I, I really like it. All right, you guys It's been almost ten minutes, but it still feels wet. I'm kind of seeing if I should leave it on because it's been About ten minutes, but it still feels wet. Maybe I should leave it on a little longer I can feel that it's kind of burning in the spots where I know I have like a little pimple or something I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off because I'm literally paranoid to keep products on my face for too long So I'm gonna go ahead wash it off and we'll rate it so when i was taking the mask off and it was running down my face and getting on my lips my lips felt so moisturized it's so weird um but the product felt really good on my face my face feels good it feels moisturized so for the moroccan red clay mask it's a five out of five stars for me next up you guys i saw this aromatherapy diffuser i thought this was pretty interesting it's basically a diffuser, but this one lights up. And I was really curious to see if it would come with any, like, oils. I don't know if it does. No, it doesn't. But that's okay. I bought some. It looks like this. You could turn the light on by itself or the mist by itself or both. You just pour the water in here, add your drops of essential oil, and try it out, I think. We'll figure that out together. Here's the cord. Let's talk about the essential oils I ordered. All right. We have lemongrass peppermint tea tree eucalyptus orange and lavender <laughs> these scents are heavy so i think the different oils can be used for different things or they can also just be used to make it smell good um lavender i know helps put you to bed and that is like the main one for me that i like had to have so i got this cute little box of essential oils and uh let's try this out <laughs> i'm kind of <laughs> I'm dying, y'all. This is strong. <clears throat> My throat. All right, we have our diffuser right here, ready to test it out. So when you open it up, it has this right here, which tells you the maximum amount of water to put in. So it doesn't take a lot of water. It's kind of nice and small. Keep the air outlet dry. Okay, this is what you want to keep dry. Let's put some water in here. All right, and now we have to add our essential oil. Which one should I choose? I'm gonna go with peppermint. I'm not gonna add a lot of drops. Then, oh, that was a lot, okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to put that much, but it kind of just came out. Okay, so now that it's in there, I'm going to get, I should have plugged it in first. Oh, not smart, not smart. So this product I would love to keep right here on my nightstand, especially if I put lavender in here to help me sleep. I'm pretty sure this plugs in at the bottom and I already put water in it. So not a smart move by me. Oh, oh it turned on. Okay, it turns on. Check, let's go ahead and put this on it. 
Okay, there we go. And now we just pressed missed. Can you guys see that? It's working! And it's changing colors. This is so cool. It's working so good. I'm gonna turn all the lights off for you guys. Look how good that looks. Imagine in the nighttime when you're sleeping. This is so nice. I'm actually in love. Okay, well, this is gonna sit right here and do its thing. I'm, I love this purchase. Let's go rate it. All right, you guys, for this aromatherapy diffuser, I have to rate this a five out of five stars. It's so cool. You saw how cool it looked with all the lights off. I think this is so awesome. The oils are just such a cool touch. It can stay one color, it can change colors. I think that's super cool. I absolutely love it. Now, this next product that I saw on Amazon, Okay, I know what you're thinking. Lexi, what is this product? And I'm about to show you. All right. It's a talking ATM bank. I saw this on TikTok, and I was just like, how cool is that? I used to have one a long time ago, and why don't we go relive those days? So I thought this was super cool. I really wanted it. It's an ATM. It uses real money, makes deposits, makes withdrawals, always knows your account balance, which will probably be like zero for me. But... $53.85. Whose balance is that? There's Ben Franklin. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, I doubt it'll help me save my money because if I know the password, I'm just going to be in there and taking my money out all the time. But it's worth a shot, people. It's worth a shot. Let's see how this bad boy works. All right, guys. Let's get into the talking ATM bank. Now, this I had to get just for like memories i remember having one of these when i was younger and i remember loving it and playing store with it i literally saw someone on tiktok and they literally just bought it just because and i was like what like what i don't know why anybody my age or you know older than what five five plus i don't know why anybody younger than five i mean older than five <laughs> would need this but i need it do I have to press reset now? Or do I just turn it on? Oh. Hello? Let's press the reset button with the screwdriver. It's not turning on. It's not turning on. Hello? Did I put my batteries in right? It looks like I did. No, I did. I did put my battery. Came with the debit card. Oh, maybe I just have to insert to put it on, to turn it on. Oh, or maybe I have to put my debit card in. Oh, probably. Oh my gosh, duh. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna feel even more slow. Here we go. We got our debit card. Goes in here? <gasps> no. Oh wait, this way. Hello, and welcome to your 24 hour ATM machine. Your balance is zero dollar. Okay, it turned on. So now we gotta add some money. Let's add some money. Oh, I, this is terrible. I don't even know how much I just added. 26 cents? Deposit. Key in deposit amount. I'm trying to put it in. Wait, clear. Point 26. Okay, there we go. Deposit. Good job. Your account balance is 26 cents. This is terrible. Let's put this, this $1 in. See if we'll take it. Oh, wait. Key in deposit amount. Press deposit button again. Then insert cash. Um, why isn't this thing sucking my money up? This is terrible. Good job. Your account balance is 26 cents. Key in deposit amount. Press deposit button oh. again. Then insert cash. I'm just not paying attention. Okay, $1. Deposit. Good job. Your account balance is one dollar twenty-six cents. Well, no, it's not, lady. I didn't put my dollar in. Hello. She's not bright. Key in deposit amount. Press deposit button again. Then insert cash. Good job. Your account balance is take $2 my money. Twenty-six 
Y'all, yeah. if only vending machines worked like this. Hello? We're gonna try to type in the money and then put the dollar in. One dollar. Good job. Your account balance is three dollars. There's still 26 cents in here. Depo withdrawal. Three dollars, because there's nothing in here. Good job. Your account balance is how I get it out. Y'all. First of all, because no ATM you see does all this. Give me my money. Y'all, this is so cheap. I'm mad. <gasps> oh my goodness. Do y'all see this? You're supposed to roll the money in there yourself? What kind of... Goodbye. Excuse me. Goodbye. Hello. And Hello. Your 24-hour ATM machine. Your balance is... What is this foolishness? How am I gonna get that out? This is gonna. This is. Alright, nine, six, three. This is so dumb, you guys, because. I, first of all, I don't know how to open this. But if it's. To, if I'm supposed to use this. It literally shows what the numbers are, which ones you're supposed to put on there. It's literally raised right here. So basically, anybody could come up in here and steal my money. This is three. Goodbye. <laughs> this lady better get slapped. How do I get my money out? Ma'am. Ma'am. I didn't take my account. I mean, my card out. What is you saying goodbye for? It's 25 hour banking, but she keeps telling me goodbye. To open the combination lock. Rotate the knob counterclockwise until you hear clicking to 10. Then other then clockwise right to 12. Okay. They actually got me there. Alright, 10 and then 12. Get my money. 26 cents. This is so trash. Literally, the ATM I had, it counted the money when I put it in. And it, like, it sucked up the bills. I didn't have to rotate this knob. And then it didn't tell me goodbye either. The ATM is a 0 out of 5. That product is so boo-boo. Honestly. I didn't even put that back on. Wait, give my batteries. Next product we have... Touchland Power Mist. This is a moisturizing hand sanitizer, aloe vera scented. Um, you guys know the times we're living in. I don't even have to explain, but I thought this was pretty cool. It's a moisturizing hand sanitizer. Basically, be sanitary, but not ashy either. I'm really curious to see if it'll actually moisturize. I'm also curious to see if it'll leave that nasty residue on your fingers that some hand sanitizer leaves. I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and try this one out. All right, so while we're sitting over here by Mushu, let's get into our next product to review. This is the moisturizing hand sanitizer. I'm so excited about this, you guys. I really just wanna know if it'll actually moisturize my hands. Oh, that is so cool. Look at how it comes. Let's give this a go. Are you ready for it? Okay. It smells good. It smells good. It doesn't smell like hand sanitizer at all. How many germs does it kill? 92%? No, I'm just kidding. This is so cool. If you don't have one of these already, I suggest going in the description box, hitting the link, and purchasing this right now. Not only does it look cool, but it smells good, and it actually is doing some moisturizing work. My hands don't feel super dry like they normally do after using hand sanitizer. This power mist is kind of dope. All right, so let's rate it. I am gonna give it a five out of five stars. Honestly, it's hand sanitizer because hand sanitizer is normally like dry and it doesn't smell all that good. This is a five out of five for me. It's pretty cool. Not only does it smell cool and feel cool, but it looks cool too. So why not give it a five out of five stars? Purchase this.
All right, you guys, this last product here, this is a bag. And y'all, the cool thing about this bag, it's a holographic bag. I saw this on TikTok. Basically, what's so cool about the bag is that it's only holographic when a flash is turned on. I guess that's the case for all products that is like holographic. I don't know, let's just open it. Okay, here it is, this, oh my gosh. It came with a little dust bag, y'all. Wow, look. It literally came with a dust bag. Don't put it on your head. Let's open it up. Okay. That's weird. Is it shiny for you guys? No, it's not. Now, this is pretty cool. And you can hold it kind of like a clutch like this. But I can hear the this part. It comes with like this as well and this is actually kind of cute i might have preferred something a little smaller but i kind of like how flimsy it is i can just like throw stuff in here this is kind of cool let's attach these thingies and see if it's cute and cool okay so it's like this oh that is kind of cute i might be too tall for me guys don't joke on my shorts it's not bad. It's a little short. I like my crossbodies to be like right on my hip. But it's really not that bad. Now it's time for the ultimate test. What we really came to see. Will it holograph? All right. So I turned my flashlight all the way up and I'm shining it on there. And it's not holographing. Maybe I need to take a picture. Or maybe I'm surrounded by really bright lights right now. So that might be why. I don't really know. Let's turn the flash on now. <gasps> y'all look at which what wait did it look like that on the outside what what is going on wait let me see if i can show you guys if it'll look like it no it, the picture the real life does not do it justice do y'all see that i'll pop it up on the screen if you don't see it but that is so cool. Wait, let me do this again, y'all. Let me just show you guys. Hold the bag up, right? It just looks normal. Oops. It just looks normal. And then, dude, that is crazy. That is crazy. Now I feel like I have to take pictures with it. I am so not mad at this bag. That was kind of cool. It's not even ugly. Like, it's actually kind of a cute little bag. All right, I definitely rate this a five out of five stars. I think it's super cool. It's a subtle bag. It's not like you're walking around with a rainbow on your hip, but as soon as somebody takes a picture with flash on, boom, killed the game. That is so cool. I'm so not mad at this bag, you guys. This is a five out of five stars for me. I'm so so intrigued by the holographic part like that is so cool i absolutely love this product and if you want to be kind of cool with your holographic bag go to amazon and buy it all right you guys that is all for this video i hope you enjoyed make sure you give this video a big thumbs up hit the post notification bell and hit that subscribe button i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one peace